Hey there guys, what's up, it's me Harry Sandberg, back here with a brand new video and welcome back to Ginger Reaction. Trailer reactions, pop culture news and movie reviews. But today, I'm reacting to the brand new official teaser trailer for Fallout. The brand new video game adaptation TV show coming to us on April 12th, 2024 on Amazon Prime. Based on the hit video game series of the same name. Now, I for one, do not have a whole lot of experience with the Fallout games. In fact, I've only played like three of them. I played... Fallout New Vegas, I played Fallout Shelter, which was the mobile game, and then also, of course, Fallout 4. So while I do not have a ton of experience with this franchise, I am also someone who does love a good video game adaptation. And honestly, that's what we need more of, good video game adaptations such as The Last of Us, which actually won Best Adaptation at the Game Awards. Well done, The Last of Us, you deserve it. So I'm hoping Fallout can kind of, you know, become one of the good uh, video game adaptations compared to, you know, the not so good ones. I'm looking at you, Halo, which I will also be reacting to the Halo Season 2 trailer, even though I don't want to, because I did not like Halo one bit, but that's just my opinion, and we're talking about Fallout. So without further ado, let's get straight into this reaction. In three, two, I know that I've lived Ooh. a relatively comfortable life. Jumpsuits from four. Very nice, very nice. Stop. Seems like I'm the protagonist right there. Whoa. Oh, Jonathan Nolan's Here making this? Oh. Vault dwellers are an endangered species. Oh my I god. Do not think Giant bug. Be willing Ooh. to do what it takes to survive a Wow, <laughs> all right, all right. Right off the bat. staying. Right off the bat, world and building. You will have to adapt. Top tip. Oh! Oh, doggy. Uh -huh. Ew. <laughs> Free two-day shipping. <laughs> they did not just say that. Okay, I'm digging the vibe. I'm digging the vibe of this. Another character we're following. <gasps> the power armor. Tomorrow, so oh. Oh my god, the power armor looks so good. A bright new sun will suddenly oh my god. break through. Chaos ensuing. Very full out. But I don't want to see Ooh. unless. I see it with you. Dang! Oh! <laughs> I grabbed a moldy one. <laughs> I love the use of the calming music. Oh! He did it! I love the use of the calming music with the chaos that's ensuing. That's crazy. Oh my god! Future design's great. Oh, Walton Goggins. Oh, there's the fallout right there. This actually looks good. It's got me intrigued. It kind of makes me want to go and play Fallout 4 again. I'm not going to lie, just so I can get a bit more grasp on the series. Oh! Okay, the bit where it said two day, free two-day shipping. I'm dead. Come on, Amazon! You made you made you've made some great stuff. The boys included. But oh my gosh, this actually looks actually looks pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, this actually looks pretty good. Some really good casting too. I didn't know that um, Walton Goggins and oh man, I pulled up the the IMDb as well. I didn't know Walton Goggins was in this. I definitely didn't know that Kyle McLaughlin was in this too. Um, that's some great casting right there. Uh, but also this cowboy guy. I'm not gonna lie, this kind of looks like, facially at least, minus, you know, the missing nose, this kind of looks like Walton Goggins, so it looks like, if this is Walton Goggins at least, because he does also wear a cowboy hat like Walton Goggins in this part right here, so I'm wondering if this will, because this looks to be during the fall, oh, is he the one riding the horse at the end, because this looks like the fallout that we see at the end of the trailer, so this might be his origins. I feel like Walking Golden is going to be a good character in this. But then we have also um, 
Ella Purnell, who's playing what looks to be one of our main protagonists, as well as um, Aaron Moten. Uh, they'll be playing Lucy, which is Elle's character, and then Maximus, which is Aaron's character. I'm loving the, the world building. I'm loving the set design, honestly. And it's also from the same guy who did um, Westworld, and the, 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 um, the world building in Westworld was really great, and Westworld was actually a really good show too. So, Jonathan Nolan, I've got some trust in him. I've got some trust, and also, of course, you know, the man who made the game, Todd Howard. Hopefully he had some also creative control in this, because that's what we really need, is like, the people who made the games to have some creative control in the creation of it, like they did with um, The Last of Us, because that's why The Last of Us was such a successful show. It's because it was very much to the game. Well, whether this will be to any of the games is beyond me, but, you know, um, as long as they keep that sort of... What's the word? Like that coherency with telling an original story if they do that while also adhering to the material. That's what I mean in that case. But this bit, again, the, st the studio behind the boys and free two-day shipping. Like, just reading that out in a narrative's voice is great. And then we get a shot of not just one, but multiple power armors, which actually look incredible. I like, they look practical. I like that they're practical. And I'm very excited to see this in action. And then, like I said, the use of very somber music, like very calming, soothing music, playing over induced chaos, um, such as our cowboy character here in the midst of a, a broken up town, shooting up the place. Uh, this minigun that says, please remain calm. Yeah, remain calm while a giant minigun is shooting at you. Uh, there was also this fun shot of this woman right here who appears to be firing a machine gun with a fork in her eye in this uh, underground shelter. That's just great. Her aim might be a bit off, but it's it's cool. And then we get this just brilliant wide shot of this of the city of California just going up in smoke. So it looks very well executed. Like I said, set design great. Characters look interesting. I'm very excited to see these characters and like learn about them. I'm so excited to meet the puppy. Look at the puppy with the 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 hand. The good puppy. Um, and I'm just very excited to see like what this world does, the story, where this all goes, because it feels because based on how um, Ella Pennell's character Lucy just reacts to. Uh, where is it? This is a great bit. Like, where she reacts to this tumbleweed coming towards her. It looks as though she's been chilling in that shelter for, uh, for a very long time. Um, oh, also, that's the other thing too. I like the, uh, the, the game accurate jumpsuits that you see in Fallout 4. And the blue with the yellow. Like, very cool. But yeah, just the way she reacts to this tumbleweed coming towards her. You can tell that she's been in that shelter for a very long time. And like the guy says here, you'll have to adapt. Cut to the dog eating a giant cockroach, which is ugh, disgusting, but, you know, necessary because nuclear radiation probably made them grow. Um, but no, overall, solid trailer with some great shots. Very intriguing for me as well, as someone who hasn't played the Fallout games as much. Uh, I only played three of them, but I'm very intrigued to see this. And then the synopsis reads, based on one of the greatest video game series of all time, Fallout is the story of haves and have-nots in a world in which there's almost nothing left to have. 200 years after the apocalypse, the gentle Denzians of luxury fallout shelters are forced to return to the irritated hellscape their ancestors left behind, and are shocked to discover an incredibly complex, gleefully weird, and highly violent universe waiting for them. From producer, executive producers Jonathan Nolan and Lisa Joy, The Craze of Westworld, starring Ella Purnell, Aaron Motten, uh, Walton Goggins, and more, arriving April 12th on Prime Video. Yes! There definitely seems to be some gleefully weird and highly violent places. It kind of feels like, um, I feel like this, I also got the same reaction out of me that, um, what was it, Twisted Metal did. Because Twisted Metal was so good. I love Twisted Metal so much. I'm so happy that's getting a season two. So hopefully, because I didn't really play the Twisted Metal games that much, but I watched the show and I loved it so much that I kind of want to go back and try and find a way to play them. So I'm hoping this will get me to do the same thing. Kind of what makes me go play Fallout 4 now, but at the same time, I'm just very curious to see what they do with the material with this brand new show. Uh, looking at the IMDb, and also looking at this character right here, I do think this is Walton Goggins. 
because the character is listed as the ghoul, and he does have a ghoulish sort of presence around him. Uh, and then who is who is McLaughlin playing? Where is he? Where do you go? There he is. Overseeker Hank. Did you get a good shot of him uh, somewhere in here? Around here. But no, tons of chaos. So great creature design uh, and a whole lot of what looks to be uh, weird and violent antics set forth. And I cannot wait for Fallout to come to Prime video on April 12th. And that is my reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure down below. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell to join the Nerd Notification Squad. Let me know your thoughts of this trailer and this adaptation and what you expect from it in the comments down below. And also follow me on TikTok right here. And stay tuned because the next video will be my reaction to Halo Season 2. I'll get more into this uh, a little later um, in that video. But until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace! Thank mm -hmm. you.